Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. The S&P 500 rose on Friday and clinched a third straight winning week amid a red-hot November rally. Overall, the broader index added 0.13%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average ended the day higher by 0.01%. And the Nasdaq Composite crept up by 0.08%. The major averages each notched their third straight positive week. The S&P 500 added 2.2%, while the Nasdaq jumped about 2.4%. The Dow closed the week with a 1.9% advance. This is the first three-week win streak for the Dow and the S&P 500 since July, and the first since June for the Nasdaq. Those gains were sparked by tame US inflation data that gave hope to investors that the Federal Reserve's tough stance on rate policy may be in the rearview mirror. Stocks have been on a tear this month. In November, the S&P 500 is up 7.6%, while the Dow has a 5.7% gain. The Nasdaq has leapt 9.9%. Gap shares leapt 30% a day after the company posted better than expected results for its fiscal third quarter. Electric vehicle charging network ChargePoint slid 35% after announcing a shakeup in its C-suite late Thursday and cutting its forecast for third quarter revenue. In commodity-related news, Oil prices rose on Friday, a day after shrinking 5% to a four-month low on growing worries about burgeoning non-OPEC supply and cooling demand. The West Texas Intermediate contract for December rose 3.03%, while the Brent contract for January rose 3.2% a barrel. Both benchmarks have lost around a sixth of their value over the last four weeks, and prices are on track for their fourth straight week of losses. As a result of the rise in oil prices, when assessing the US sectors, energy was the best performer, communication services was the worst performer. Looking ahead to the Australian landscape, the SPY futures are pointing to a 0.4% gain. Thank you for listening.